Hey guys, Dr. James here. I just finished in practice uh, and I had an interesting conversation with a client uh, and it kind of spurred this uh, thought process in my head. And what I kind of came up with was that if we can learn the patterns of anxiety, then we can unlearn them, even if it feels like we didn't create them in the first place. So what I mean by that is, with anxiety, yes, we end up in a place because other things have happened to us or there's been building tension or sometimes we just don't even know, but we're just experiencing anxiety. The problem with that is our brain is learning things about our environment to justify the experience and to create the experience. Because remember, and I've said this a lot, anxiety comes from uh, our body being overreacted to uh, stresses and oversensitive, and then our mind starts to find things to justify that experience. So I'm feeling anxious, or oh, maybe someone's gonna kill me, maybe I'm gonna lose all my money, maybe I've got cancer, maybe I've left a stove on. And that's our brain filling in the blanks for the experience we're having in our body. What happens is the more we do this, the more we become conditioned for the experience of anxiety. Just like uh, if we, uh, let's say, you know those, um, those old Where's Waldo books, right? You can't find him at all until a friend points him out. And once your friend points him out, now you can't unsee him. So the moment you see the page and you recognize the page, you know exactly where he is and you can go, there he is right there. This is just like the experience of anxiety. I'm going about my life and someone has pointed out to me, there's Waldo over there. So now I'm looking around my world and I see him constantly. Now this can be, again, like I said, from an event, something's happened and now we're, um, now we're seeing it everywhere. I have been in a car accident, so now I'm scared of cars, or I think that I'm going to have another accident. Or it can be from building tension or experience or whatever. But the point is that our brain is conditioned for that experience, and so now we see it everywhere. Uh, in addition to this, if we can obviously, essentially, like I just said, learn the experience of anxiety, and our, and our brain and body can be conditioned for it, then we can change that as well. So we can start to program ourselves for happiness, um, for calmness, by uh, having that in our life a lot more commonly than the anxiety. So when we're anxious, it's conditioning us. If we're calm more of the time, then we start to be conditioned for that. So when I look around my world right now, I see things that promote energy and calmness and happiness, whereas uh, six, seven years ago, it was anxiety, fear, stress, because I had been conditioned for that and I could see that. And the point I'm trying to make with all of this is anxiety is not who you are. Anxiety is there right now in this experience right now. And even if it can feel like you've done nothing to get it there and you don't know why you're feeling that like that, you just are, I want you to know that it is possible to change it. You just have to start becoming more clear on the experience that you're having, the triggers, the symptoms, etc. You need to build that confidence that I can actually face that experience with some strategies. Uh, breathing is always a good one that I talk about with SRI. Um, mindfulness, becoming aware of some of the triggers and trying to um, use that knowledge and understanding of them to, to build confidence that we can deal with them. Uh, and then also the last step on that is control. And that's where we start to take our control back from the situation and realize that I'm in charge, not my anxiety. Right now I know I can feel like anxiety is in charge, um, but if you keep telling yourself that, you start to recondition yourself, you're able to change that self-talk, you're able to change the thoughts in the back of your mind, and you're able to change the physical experience you have, it can become a reality that you are in control, not your anxiety. So like I said, just remember that we are conditioned for it, whether we know it or not, and we can recondition ourselves, whether we know it or not, to make those changes. It doesn't have to be that you have anxiety for the rest of your life. It doesn't matter what anyone has told you about it. It is definitely possible to change it. Um, you just have to uh, become more aware. You have to start seeking information that's going to help you. You have to start speaking to the right people. And if you're feeling like the people that you're talking to are not supporting that belief in you that you can change it, then you need to find someone else uh, to give you that information, that energy, because we are who we hang around with. Uh, and so you've got to start finding people that support you uh, in your journey to change it. Uh, I'd love to hear your thoughts below this video, so leave a comment, um, let me know what resonated, what didn't, uh, and I'll see you guys soon.